Hi guys and welcome to this video in which we are going to explore how to use the Excel function combination if and or and if or and. So with the help of different hands-on examples, I will explain to you when and how to use if in combination with and, if in combination with and and or, if in combination with or, and finally, if in combination with or and and. Before we dive into some examples, let's first recap the central and most important part of the formula combination, namely the if function. Here on this Excel sheet, you can see a very easy example that will help to illustrate all of the formulas that we are discussing today. The if function is probably one of the most frequently used Excel formulas out there since it's so powerful. With the if formula, you can create a condition and a value or result that is based on the occurrence of the condition. So the if formula basically helps you to validate something by saying, if my initial condition is true, then do this, but if it's false, do that. So let's take our example here down below where we have different budget information of various functions. Let's say we want to check if the budget of the respective function is larger than 100,000 or smaller. And if it's larger, let's say we want to return the word big. And if it's smaller, we want to return the word small. So let's type in our formula here. Let's start with an equal sign or a plus, both works. Type in if, open the brackets and say if the budget is larger than 100,000, which I typed in already here, we want to return the word big. And if it's smaller, we want to return the word small. Close the bracket, press enter and pull the formula down. And here you have the result. So let's check it. For HR, the budget is larger than 100,000, which is why big is returned. That's correct. And for example, for legal, the budget is definitely lower than 100,000, which is why small is returned. But as with all Excel formulas, we can replace part of the function with another formula to make it even more powerful. And in our case, first we want to extend the initial if condition by adding the end formula. So let's move to our second example. So as I just said, we want to replace our initial condition in the if formula with an end function. And then the overall function looks like this. If my first condition is true and also my second condition, both part of the end formula, then do this. And if both conditions are not true, do that. So in that case, the end formula nested within the if function simply extends our initial validation or initial logical test to one or more tests. So in our example, the function could be applied like this. Instead of only validating if the budget of the function is over 100,000, we could validate a second condition such that the year-to-date spend is more than 50,000. So let's say if both statements are true, we think we need to flag this, but if the two statements together are not true, everything is fine and let's return OK. Using the if and and combination, you should be aware that the entire condition is only true, so in our case flagged, if and only if both of our conditions are true. So let's go back to our example and check how the formula works. Start with a plus or an equal, type in if, open the bracket and immediately type in and because we want to extend our conditions. So the first one is to check if the budget is over 100,000. The second condition is to see if the absolute year to spend is over 50,000. And again, make sure to lock the cells. So I did forget it. So let's go back and do it because if you want to pull down the formula, this is super important. Since we only want to check the two conditions here, we can close the bracket of the end formula and go to the 
conditions if the value is true or if they are false. So first of all, if both values, both conditions are true, we want to flag the function. On the other side, if both conditions are false, we just want to say OK and everything's fine. So after having indicated our potential results, if the conditions are true or false, we can now close the bracket of the overall if function and press enter. Let's pull the formula down and check the results. First of all, starting with HR again, we see that the budget is over 100,000 and also the year-to-date spend is over 50,000, which is why it is flagged. Let's take a look at purchasing. Here we see that the budget is over 100,000, but the year-to-date spend is below 50,000, which is why OK is indicated. And as I said, with the end formula, it is always that both statements must be true. If this is not the case, and if only one of the two statements or one of several statements is true, the entire end function is not true. And therefore, in our case, OK is returned. Next, we want to go one more step and extend the formula with the OR function. So let's move to our next example. So now our formula looks like this. Still, the logical test in the if function is replaced by end, as in the previous example. However, now we are adding the OR formula as one of the conditions of the end string. So to put it differently, now we have three logical conditions within our end function that need to be true, but at least one condition is replaced by OR where one of the two logicals within OR must be true. So again, I'd suggest we bring the example to life and start by trying the formula. Let's say in our example, we want to check if the budget of the function is again more than 100,000 and the absolute year to spend is over 50,000. So these two conditions are already known from the previous example. However, now we are adding the OR function as a third condition in the END formula. So within our OR function, we want to check if the department had a budget overrun last year or if the last year's overrun was above 20%. In case all of the three conditions are true, again, we want to flag the department. However, if the conditions are not true, just want to say it's okay. So let's go back to our example and check the formula. Start with the if formula, open the bracket and immediately nest the end formula. So again, open the bracket. Let's first check if our budget of the department is over 100,000 and if the year to date spend is above 50,000. Again, don't forget to fix these conditions if you want to pull down the formula. As a third condition in the end formula, we want to nest the OR function. So just type in OR after the comma, open the bracket, and as our first logical, we want to check if there was a budget overrun last year. So if the content in the column F equals yes. Also, the second logical of the OR function is we want to see if the overrun last year was above 20%. Close our bracket for the OR function and close the second bracket for the END function. Comma, and now we go back to our potential results. So the value if all of the previous conditions that we've just entered are true. And we said if they are all true, we want to flag the department However, if they are not true, we just want to say everything's OK. Now close the bracket of the overall IF function and press ENTER. Let's pull down the formula and check the results. Again, start with HR. We know that the budget and the absolute year-to-date spend is above 150,000 respectively. Also, we see that there was a budget overrun last year, which was even above 20%. So this department is definitely flagged. So let's also check PR and press down below. 
Here we see that the budget is also over 100,000 and also the year-to-date spend is clearly above 50,000. However, let's take a look at our two conditions that were nested within the OR function. So only one of these two conditions had to be true such that the overall end function was also true. And here you can see, last year there was obviously a budget overrun, however it was below 20%. But as I just said, only one of the two conditions needed to be true, which is the case here. And by making the OR function true, the overall IF condition also became true, which is why PR and PRESS is also flagged. Now let's change the course of direction a little bit, such that we want to combine IF and OR in the first place and take a look at our next example. IF in combination with OR helps you to validate a condition where there must be one true valid statement out of several statements. So the same logic as beforehand applies and we are replacing the logical test in the IF formula with OR such that the function looks like this. Let's say in our example we want to test if the department's budget is over 200,000 or if their year-to-date spend is above 100,000. If one of the conditions is true, we want to flag the department, otherwise we want to label it as OK. So let's try this formula. Start by typing IF open the bracket and immediately start to type in OR. So again, open the bracket and let's check our first condition, which is if the budget of the department is over 200,000 or if their absolute year-to-date spend is over 100,000. Close the bracket for the OR condition and now let's type in the potential results. So if the OR condition is true, we want to flag the function and if it's false, we want to just say everything's okay. Close the bracket of the overall IF function, enter and pull the formula down. So let's check the results. Maybe let's look at finance and we see that the budget of finance is clearly below 200,000. Also, their year-to-date spend is below 100,000, which is why the IF condition with the nested OR returns OK, because neither of the two statements is true. However, if we look at purchasing, for example, we see that the budget is above 200,000. However, the year-to-date spend is below 100,000. But since we are using the OR function and only one of the two statements must be correct, the department is flagged. Finally, let's look at the last combination, namely if, or, and, and. In this case, we want to add the and formula as a third condition of the or function, which looks like this. Doing so, we want to check if at least one of the three conditions in our or function is true, but for the third one, there must be both underlying statements true. So in our example, it could look like this. Say we want to check if the function has a budget that is over 200,000 or the year-to-date spend is over 100,000 or both of the following statements are true. If the department had a budget overrun last year and the budget overrun was above 20%. So if only one of the three statements here is true, but if the third one is true, both nested statements must be true. We flag the department and if neither of the statements is true, everything's okay. So let's check out the formula. Again, start with if, open the bracket and immediately nest in OR. Open another bracket and let's type in our initial conditions. So if the budget is over 200,000, and if the year-to-date spend is over 100,000. Instead of a third logical, we nest the end function. So type in end, open the respective bracket, and now we say we want to check if the department had a budget overrun last year. So if this is indicated as yes, and 
if the budget overrun was above 20%. So let's check if it's larger than 20% and close the first bracket for the end function, close a second bracket for the OR function and type in comma and now we get to the potential results. So if the value is true, we want to say let's flag this department and if it's false, let's say everything's okay. Close the overall bracket of the if function, press enter and pull the formula down. So again, let's briefly check the results. Let's first take a look at HR. HR has a budget below 200,000 and also the year-to-date spend is not above 100,000. It's exactly the same, but not above. So let's check if the third condition in our OR function is true. And this is again based on two conditions because we said we nested the end formula in the OR function. So we see that there was a budget overrun last year in HR, which was above 25%. And since both of the last two statements, part of the end functions, are true, we flag the department. And finally, let's look at purchasing again. In that case, we see that the budget is definitely above 200,000. However, year-to-date spend is below, as well as there was no budget overrun last year. And since we applied the OR formula, only one of the three statements must be true, which is the case and the function or the department is flagged. Now that we've gone through all of the formulas, let's briefly recap and compare them. Use if in combination with and to check if several conditions are true. Use if in combination with or to check if at least one of several conditions is true. Both combinations can be complemented by and or or, but the primary direction based on the first two conditions does not change. So if you're starting to create your formula, just think about what you really want to test. Is it several valid statements at the same time or only one out of a selection of statements? So give the video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. Let me know which other Excel formulas you would like me to explain and don't forget to subscribe to not miss them out.